Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our urban worm bag that has the African night crawlers in it. Now, it's been a little over a month since our last checkup on this bag, and the earth, the I'm sorry, the night crawlers were doing pretty good, and we added a lot of food, and we're trying to kind of build that heat back up, build that population back up, but they were still looking pretty big in there. So with that, I've got a lot of food to add again. I'm going to continue to overfeed these bins to try to build up these worms, even though I'm only checking on them about once a month, and the idea being that. Eventually, I am going to harvest these hopefully before fall comes around in another month or two, maybe at the end of middle to end of August. Maybe I'll uh, harvest these to get this stuff into my yard and my gardens uh, for my fall. So, with that, let's take a look at the system, let's see how it's doing, and let's add a whole bunch of food to it. All right, here we are with our urban worm bag here, and we're going to go ahead and open this up and take a look inside. All right, now I last time I left the uh, the cardboard that I had on top out. As you can see though, that really does reflect a lot of that moisture back down. So there's not quite as much moisture and there's not as much, uh, it feels very dry in here. But this this material on the top dried out pretty quickly probably, uh, making it where the worms could not work on it. And as you can see here, we've got actually a, a lot of mold that looks like here on the top. So with that, let's just go ahead and move this stuff out of the way. Looks like this is some sort of mycelium or something on top. It feels very spongy. And we've got some of our carbon in here. This is that uh, ch charcoal that I added. So you can see it breaks apart. You can see it's, hopefully you can see, but it's, you can see it's inside. You can see just uh, charcoal. I'm uh, hoping that this sort of breaks down a little bit more and also just incorporates into here a little bit. All right, let's just dig into the center of this here and check this out. Very, very dry. It's probably a little bit drier than it should be, but look at this. We still got our African night crawlers in here. Maybe not as lively as they should be, but we're going to start trying to add more food and a lot more moisture to this. So we're going to go ahead and move this around a little bit. Let's move this over here. Let's just take a look on this side. The material feels really, really nice in here. I mean, it just kind of, look at this, it just breaks apart when you squeeze it just a little bit. That's what you really want to see. It just kind of comes right apart. <clears throat> so, all right. Definitely some moisture on the top here, surprisingly. We've got a lot of these, um, I don't know if you can see them on there, but there's a lot of millipedes. Not centipedes, millipedes. Millipedes are a part of those uh, composters that break things apart. They're perfectly fine to have in your system. I'm seeing a lot of them in here, which isn't a big deal. But I really want to have a worm system and not a millipede system. Actually, you can see them much better on my glove right there. There's one of the millipedes. But then you can see, got some worms in here as well. They look nice and healthy, although a little bit less, a little bit lethargic maybe. Probably because they need some moisture. They're probably searching around the system for it. There you go. You can see one in there moving a whole lot. This one right there, you can see there's a couple worms on my gloves. So these worms are definitely, they're okay. They're not doing great, but they're alive. There's plenty of them in here. Now with that, we're mixing this up a little bit. And what we need to do though is we need to get some moisture in here. So that way these worms have the moisture they need for their skin. They uh, breathe through their skin. So we're going to go ahead and turn on my, uh, what is this? My sprayer here. I've got an electric sprayer. And if I can get the, uh, there we go. And I just filled this up the other day since it was pretty empty. But we're just going to go ahead and give these guys a good soak here on the top. This is spraying up very, very little water. It's just to get things a little bit damp. And we kind of mix things in a little bit. Just kind of get some water going on the top here. I don't have this at a very high pressure. It's very light. That's why it's kind of making a little bit more noise. You can kind of hear it chugging along. I don't want a lot of pressure. I'm not trying to pressure wash stuff or spray things out really harshly. I'm just trying to get things wet. And I especially don't want to hurt the worms by hitting them with this and then you know damaging them. So this is very, very gentle. The spray, if you buy one of these, make sure it's not on too hard. I'm not trying to, as I said, spray, you know, this would be for your garden or something to spray chemicals normally. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to get some water into the system here. So, all right. With that, we've mixed in a couple inches of water, it looks like, into the system now. I'm just kind of cleaning off my gloves a little bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer. And I always do this. I always add like a layer of dry cardboard on top, just so that way when I put on the food that we're going to have on here, there's something for it to sit on. 
I just gotta grab my cardboard. I didn't have it right next to the system for some reason. I forgot about it. So we're just gonna, for just a little bit, this is just to kind of add a little bit of a buffer because the, the food that I have is cold, it's frozen. There we go, just a little bit of a buffer. And we've got a couple different things of food here we're gonna be adding. So first off, actually I'm gonna grab the other one. This has been in my freezer for quite a while, as you can tell by the layer of ice on top. And look at that. It is a sheet of ice. But this is corn on the cob, which I know takes a long time to break down in these systems. Oops. You can see my gloves are sticking to it because they're wet and it's cold. But this is going to add more moisture. I mean, you can see this is a big piece of ice here and it's sticking in my gloves because it's cold. But the idea here is that what I want to do is just try to get some different materials. I think these are corner cobs are pretty good as far as like a food source. I do find that they will eat these. They take a while to break down, but that's perfectly fine. This system, unlike my other ones, this one doesn't have nearly as much material in it. It's not as compacted. It does not need to be harvested right now. The other systems I have, they really are compacted and they probably should be harvested pretty soon. So hopefully the worms have dived down now a little bit and we can kind of spread this out. And then the next part of this is really the food that they're going to want. And that is, if I can get a container open here, watermelon rind. This stuff is like the best thing ever for worms. You get a lot of water because it's primarily water in there. You have a ton of sugars for the microbes. And those are, that's one of their favorite foods. I'm just going to dump all the ice out of here and move this one off to the side. So that's really for the the big food that I wanted. Now I did want to add a little bit more of something else as well to this. And that is, I'm going to put on a mask here. So, sorry, I'm going to sound a little muffled because I, when I'm working with any of this stuff, I do like to wear a mask, but I've got this neem cake that I've added to my systems in the past. And I, I really just have it sitting down here. I just want to try to use it up. So I'm going to add some of that to this. This is another food source, very dry. And with that, we're going to add some water. We're going to get this a little bit wet. So again, I'm going to spray. And you can see this is just this stuff's just running off the side now. That's fine. Idea is just kind of get everything just a little bit damp now. All right. Now, the last piece to this is of course covering everything with paper. Now, I didn't add, and I don't think I really need to at this point, but I did not add any crushed crab or eggshell. Normally I would, but I just don't feel it really, the system needs it necessarily. All right, there we go. We really wanna make sure that we get all this stuff in here. Now, the biggest problem I'm gonna have with this system, because of the fact that it's not very full like the other ones, even though it does have a sealed lid, is that it does tend to dry out. And I probably should be adding water a little bit more frequently than I have been. I really haven't been checking on the system, and some of this is a little dry. I might add a little bit more cardboard in here, which I normally have to do. I'm usually a little bit short. So we're gonna add a little bit of cardboard over here, and a little bit over there. And we're gonna go ahead and wet this down on top, because we gotta make sure we've got enough moisture in here. At this point, I don't feel I can add too much moisture to these systems. And the reason being is because they're fairly dry. It makes it really easy for sorting when they're this dry, but it's not really good for the worms. So we're going to really sort of wet this down. And as I said, I don't have this on some high blasting thing. It's fairly soft on my hand. You don't want this too hard. Although it doesn't quite as matter as much right now, but we're not here to fill this thing up with water, but I mean, like we want to make sure that everything gets saturated and it can kind of drip down and everything. And that way these worms can start working their way up and start working on this material sooner. They got to be able, and that way they're also going to work up because of the fact that it's just wetter up here and they need that moisture for their skin. So, all right, I think that's good. And we'll come back in a little bit and see how this is doing. In the meantime, though, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments or thoughts on this, please let me know down below. And with that, we're going to close this up and we're going to let it sit for a little bit.
I'm gonna try to get back to it before we hit a month. I'm gonna try to start checking on my bins more frequently. I do have a lot of excess food uh, in my freezer down here, so I'm trying to go through that so I can empty it out because it needs to thaw out. Uh, my freezer from the 1950s, and it still needs that thaw cycle where you actually unplug it. So with that, thank you for watching. And if again, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below.